Hello, Jenny is Genesis Lewis in here, and once again we are at another episode of Disney Characters You May Not Know, episode 19. Today's episode is about the great King Stefan. King Stefan is a supporting character in Disney's 1959 animated classic, Sleeping Beauty. He's the husband of Queen Leah and the father of Princess Aurora. In the original Sleeping Beauty, Stefan is portrayed as a humble figure, loving father, and more forceful side of the kingdom's monarchy, consisting of himself and his wife, Leah. When confronted by Maleficent, he remains silent, mostly, but with a stern and fairly intimidating expression. Aside from that scene, Stefan is mostly seen as a soft-spoken man, specifically during his scenes with the more boastful King Hubert, Stefan's close friend. In Maleficent... He's a bit different. In this version, Stefan is very brutal, hateful, tyrannical, power-hungry, paranoid, and obsessed with killing Maleficent, to the point where he didn't even care about seeing his dying queen. At a young age, Stefan had always been ambitious in Maleficent. He, could bring him, he couldn't even bring himself to kill Maleficent at first because of their past friendship, but his desire to the throne led him to betray her anyway. The consequence of this betrayal were severe. He painfully cut off and stole Maleficent's wing, which ultimately turned her to evil, as she vengefully retaliated by cursing his daughter Aurora. His hatred was spawned from his guilt for stealing her wings, in fear that she would take her revenge upon him. This is seen when Maleficent curses Aurora while he helplessly watches. Stefan indeed shows his remorse over his past betrayal and begs Maleficent not to kill Aurora, in which Maleficent responded by having Aurora have a death-like sleep instead of actually getting to kill the baby. Unfortunately, because of his paranoia and guilt for his crime against his old friend, combined with Maleficent's act of revenge by cursing Aurora, Stefan's sheer hatred for Maleficent proved to be too great, even more greater than her hatred of him. This was shown in, at the climax where he statistically sadistically taunts her and tortures Maleficent as soon as she enters the castle and undoes Aurora's curse, though he may never know this. Therefore, whatever friendship and love that he had with Maleficent ultimately dies as he tries to stab her from behind, leading to, sadly, his own death. Uh, now let's get to appearances. King Stefan and Queen Lee are the monarchs of... Well, whatever kingdom they're in. I say France, but I've had people judge judge it before. He's overjoyed when his wife gives birth to a baby girl, whom they name Aurora. The whole kingdom was invited by Stefan to celebrate her birth, but his and his queen's happiness is short-lived, as the evil fairy Maleficent, the only person not invited to Aurora's celebration, which I think is stupid. Why not invite the evil person again? Anyway, enters his castle and curses the baby. She then prophesizes that on Aurora's 16th birthday, she will die from pricking her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel. We've all heard that before. After she leaves, one of the three good fairies, Meriwether, weakens the curse so their daughter will sleep instead of die. The king and queen make the hardest decision of their lives, making their daughter have to go away and be raised in the damn forest with three good fairies. King Stefan ordered all spinning wheels in the kingdom to be burned in an attempt to prevent the curse from ever happening. The narrator reveals that 16 sad and lonely years later, you know, we get to the plot of the original Sleeping Beauty movie. 16 years now, he is waiting for his now teenage daughter's return to the castle. While in the dining room drinking, he and King Hubert quarrel over their children until Hubert mistakenly grabs a fish instead of a sword and they burst out laughing. When Aurora pricks her finger on the spindle, the good witch put everyone in a kingdom to sleep. When Maleficent, defeated by Prince Philip, he awakens and finally meets his daughter for the first time. Oh, how loving. Now, the talk about... Yeah. I've decided, um, I hate Maleficent. I'm not gonna put that on. I'm not... You can hate me for that, but I don't like it. Never did. I think it ruined King Stefan's whole personality, but... Hey, if it worked with uh, Wicked, why didn't it work with Maleficent? Many reasons. But I'm just going to skip to Once Upon a Time. In Once Upon a Time, after Maleficent curses Briar Rose into an eternal sleep, her victory falls short when King Stefan awakens the cursed maiden with a true love's kiss. He and Briar Rose later marry, presiding over their kingdom in a palace, and have a daughter named Aurora. 
Maleficent, on the other hand, becomes dejected since her revenge is spoiled and loses her ability to turn into a dragon. Years later, Aurora is set to marry Prince Philip, and in a bid to restore Maleficent to her former glory, Regina, who we find out is evil queen again, I don't know once upon a time that well, tries motivating her into getting vengeance on Briar Rose's daughter. Fearing the former dragon will harm Aurora, King Savan and his soldiers arrive at the ruined portion of the land that Maleficent once scorched with her flames decades ago. When they begin arresting her, Maleficent attempts to transform, but it fails, leaving both her and Regina to be captured for execution. <coughs> As the women are tied and forced to walk, Regina burns her own binds and hurls a fireball at the men before her magic dries out. Luckily, Maleficent morphs into a dragon, wow that was surprising, and as she swoops down from the air, King Stefan shouts at his guards to retreat. With a well-aimed breath of fire, she shoots it at the king who manages to block it with a shield. Later, when Maleficent confronts Aurora, she reveals she did not kill King Stefan in order to make him suffer and see his precious daughter be cursed as her mother was. Uh, just small little hints. Um, he is the second of only five Disney characters in all of Disney history who is good in the original appearance, but turned into a villain in a different production. Um, the others being the first, second, and third being the first was the Beast. I guess. The second being Peter Pan, and the fourth being Arthur Pendragon. Oh, that's why. They're all in Once Upon a Time. Oh, and the third being the Grand Duke from the 2015 Cinderella. Mm, okay. Though King Stefan and Queen Leah don't appear in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, the video game, the thrones on which they sat in the movie are actually still there. And finally, King Stefan is the actual first Disney king to not have gray or white hair. That's a fact. Look it up. I don't know. Just find that surprising. Anyway, that's it of this episode of Disney Characters You May Not Know, episode 19. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like if you did. Like if you don't. It's all up to you. And as always, next week's episode... It's about one crazy woman with pink hair. I don't know what else hint I can give. Peace out, Jennies, and have a Disney day.